Today's lesson will talk about changing fractions to decimals. Hey, fabulous fractions here. Just like decimals, fractions are used to represent quantities as wholes and parts of a whole. Dull decimal here. You mean we have something in common? Wait one fraction of a second. I was getting to that. To change this fantastic fraction of two and five tenths into a decimal, we start with the whole. There are two wholes. I will put the two in the ones place. The fractional part says five over 10, or five of the 10 parts are represented. Did you hear it? Five tenths. Get to the point already. Patience, my dear dull decimal. The fraction reads five tenths. I need to put the five in the tenths place. And voila, you have me. Dull decimal, two and five tenths. Big deal. It's quite the deal. Let's try one more. Look at this beauty, five and 63 hundredths. Have you ever seen anything so fantastic? Get to it. I have a long day of dullness ahead of me. Well, there are five holes. That means five is in the ones place. And 63 hundredths. That means I have to write 63 after the decimal. And it makes me five and 63 hundredths. Golly, I sure lead an exciting life. Dull decimal by day and fabulous fraction by night. We both represent the same value, but show the value in different ways. Are we done now? I can't take any more excitement.